Hello everybody, welcome to Tuesday's phonics lesson and today I am back in Jack's house where we normally have our phonics when we are back in school. It is a little bit echoey because it's only me in here so I really hope that we'll see all of you back in here soon. Okay, should we have a look at our phase three sounds and get started? You'll need your whiteboard and your whiteboard pen. We're going to start with our quick write, writing all the sounds that we've done in phase three so far. So let's have a look. Okay, I'm going to do it as well and we'll say the sound as we write it. Ready? J. W. W. That's where we've gotten up to, haven't we? So you should have a full board of all the sounds you've done so far. Okay, shall we have a look at some tricky words? Let's practice some of our tricky words. Say them when you see them. Ready? Me. He. We. My. Be. She. Was. Oh, now let's see if you can remember any of them. Any of our phase three tricky words to write on your board. Mm, can I remember any of the words? I can remember when we're talking about a boy. We say he, a H and an E makes B. What about when we're talking about a girl or a lady? Then it's she, an S, a H and an E. What about a group of people? We, a W and an E. There's a tricky word that's got a B and an E on it. Which tricky word is that? That's right, that's B. And then when we're talking about ourselves, we can say, well, we can say I. It's a phase two tricky word that we should know. But we can also say me or my, can't we? And then there's a phase of tricky words with four letters in. It's the trickiest one of the tricky words. There's a T, a H, an E, and a Y. They, he, she, we, he, I, me, they, my. Now you might have noticed as I was talking about the tricky words, I used the letter names not the sounds, because we can't sound out tricky words, can we? We just have to know them. So for now, I'm going to write some words on my board, and I'd like you to say the letter names, so not the sounds, the letter names, like in the alphabet, okay? Are you ready for my first one? Okay. My first letter is a D, a D. Remember the letter names, like in the alphabet, okay, this one, there's an O, that's its name, O, let's try another one, you definitely know the sound of this one, but can you think of the letter name in the alphabet, that's right, it's an S, let's try one more, The name in the alphabet is this one. It's an E. Well done if you got them ones right. Now let's have a look at our sound of the day today. It's got an O oh and an R oh. oh, and it makes the sound O. Oh. They're partners, so it's two letters working together to make the sound O. Oh. Okay, my turn. 
or your turn. My turn or your turn. One more time. My turn or your turn. Well done. Now we're going to write it. We've got it in our print here. Okay. So we know how to do an R. Easy peasy all the way around. And we know how to do our R down the robot's body. Up and over. An L and an R makes the sound or. See if you can write it on your board for me. See if you can fill your whole board up with our sound of the day. You can do some big ones. You can do some tiny little small ones. And see if you can fill all your board up. If you feel like a challenge, you can try your letter join. Okay, so we start here. Go up, around, over. And we're going to go up and over. So it's joined. Okay, well done everybody. I hope your whole board is filled up with our sound of the day. Oh, what is our sound of the day? Remind me. Or, well done. It's or. Shall we have a look at some words with our sound of the day in? We've got our picture clue again. Now this sound usually is in the middle of words and it's in the middle of this word. What is this we use it to eat with? To fork, f, ork, fork. It's our fork, okay? Let's have a look at this one. This one's a little bit tricky. You sometimes get these in the top of wine bottles or champagne bottles. It's called a cork, k, ork. Cork, cork. That one is cork. So we've got our sound button, our sound bar because we've got our letters with it together, and our sound button for k cork. Okay, you might know this one. What's this one? K on, k on, k on, corn. Some people call it sweet corn. Or corn on the cob. Corn. This one's a little bit trickier. Let's have a look at this one. Have a look at this one. What's this one? It's called a thorn. Sometimes you find them in rose bushes or out in the woods. There's some thorns and they're very prickly and sharp. You have to be careful around them. So we've got another sound bar here. Why have you got a sound bar? What are the two letters doing? They're working together, aren't they? Ready? Get your tongue. F or n. F on. F on. Thorn. It's called the thorn, a thorn bush. Oh dear, what's happened here? T on. T on. T on. Torn. The paper is torn in half there. Oh dear. This man looks very angry here, doesn't he? And what's he pointing at? And you remember what Miss Boo said, these, thorn, these sharp things were there. I nearly gave you the word then. These really sharp bushes that you might find in the woods or on rose bushes. Thorn. It's a thorn bush, isn't it? Oh no, look at his coat. Uh-oh, what do you think has happened? He doesn't look happy. I can see a thorn and I can see a rip in his coat. What has happened? Ready, shall we read it together? It's his coat, coat, got, got, to on, torn, on, on, that, that, on, thorn, his coat, got, torn, on, that, thorn. And then we've got our full stop at the end. Oh dear, he does not look very happy there at all, does he? Shall we see if we can write that on our whiteboards at home? We've read the sentence and so now we need to see if we can write it. So we've got his coat 
Gott geopt. Ton. What word's next? On. On. That. Thorn. Okay. Now don't worry if Miss Booth has written that very, very fast. I've been writing for a long time. You can pause the video here and you can take your time looking at the screen and making sure that you're getting all your letters beautiful. What I'd also like you to do is add some sound buttons and some sound bars for me because there's quite a few sounds in there that I've got that will need a sound bar because a sound bar is two letters working together. That's right, well done. And your sound buttons, if there's any tricky words you think, you can circle them. And I'd like you to put a squiggly line, a squiggly line, like the sea, like a wave, underneath our sound of the day. Take a picture and send it in for me. Well done, everybody. See you tomorrow.